Los, welcome once again. I'm Tom Callahan, and um, today I want to talk a little bit about the striking surfaces that we all have from basically the elbow down. Of course, we use our entire body in the martial arts and for, um, for combat, but a lot of us think that we have to use our fist to punch, okay? There's so many uh, weapons we have just in our hand. But first, let's talk about uh, the elbow. We've got the elbow strike. We all know about the elbow strike. Rising elbow strike, a cross, a roshi, descending. We have the elbow, which is incredibly strong and powerful. Coming across the jaw, up through the chin, down to the back of the neck, or the back. So we have this very strong. We have the forearm. The forearm can strike the side of the neck. It's not just a block for karate. It can also be a strike, very strong. Side of the neck, out go the lights, right? So we have the forearm, the elbow, but look at the hand. Look at your hand. Yes, we have the fist. We have seiken, huh? These two knuckles, fist. We also have uraken, we have the back fist. Hmm? We have shuto, knife hand. We have nukete, fingers. We have haito, the side. We have shote, which is one of my favorites. We have koken, under the, under the chin. Shote, seiken, iraken, nukete, shuto, haito. There's a lot. So let's not get in the habit of thinking if we ever have a, uh, an altercation that it has to be punching. I'm talking about the street, not, not competition. I'm talking about Budo, Karate, in the street. You have all these weapons right here. And then of course we have the wrist, how we use the wrist to manipulate the wrist, which we'll go into it with another, in another um, uh, lesson. But right now I want you to look at your hand, think about your hand, and memorize and practice all the different applications you have within this one hand, elbow, forearm, seiken, buraken, shuto, nukete, haito, shote, kolken. I know I'm repeating myself, but get really familiar with your hand and, the, and how you can strike with either hand, obviously, and all the parts of the hand. You don't know what the situation is gonna be like. You know, you don't, and if people are moving fast, and if you hit with the hip fist, you might miss, they might be moving, and that's called a boxer's fracture, many of you know. And if you hit here, they're very, very thin bones. I always sort of recommend not using your fist, especially for um, women, and especially for people that aren't really familiar with using your fist. Like a boxer, obviously they're great with the fist. The thing about a boxer is they do wrap their hands, so their hands are like this, and sometimes when they got, they know how to punch, fantastic. But when they get those gloves off, sometimes they, they throw punches like this, because they're used to having their hand wrapped. And, that, and then when they throw a punch, it's not, it's not tight. And that's why they call that a box scratch, okay? But in the street, your hands should be open. You need your hands open. And so you, you're blocking, you're striking, shote, closing your fist, striking this way, shuto, back fist, so many different applications for it, which I will get into in future, future lessons. But for now, I want you guys to think about your hands from your elbow, your forearm, and your entire hand, and where the weapons are, and get comfortable thinking about those, and get comfortable striking different surfaces, makawara, heavy bag, what have you, with different parts of your hand. That's it for today. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Wuss!